ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದುಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರುಶಿಪಾಸಿಂಧುಭ್ಯವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಪಂಗೋಂಗ್ಲಂಘಯತಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವಿ ತುಳಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವಶ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸ್ವತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶಿ ಗೌರೀಯಪಾತ್ರೋ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗಿರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರನ್ನು ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಂಚನು ತರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತ್ತಿಹಂ ಪುನತುಪಾಲ್ಯಭವಾದಿಭೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರಣಬಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಕಚಂದಮನೀಕ್ಷಟಾ ವಿಸ್ಫುರ್ಜೀತಿ ಗೋಧೂಷದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸ್ವಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮೈ ಕಥಾನಿಕೋ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜು ಕನುಕಾ ಬುಧತ್ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಹತಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜವರೋ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರೋ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜ ಕನಕ ಬದತ್ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಹತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜವರೋ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ಬಂಧಿತೋ ದಿಬ್ಬರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿರ್ಥಂ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇಣ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ 
गंगातरंगरमणीय जटा कलापम गौरी निरंतर विभूषित बाम भागम नारायण प्रिय मनोंग मदापहारम वाराणसी पुरापति भज विश्वनाथम बागीश जुष्यो बदने लक्ष्मीर्जस्य च वक्षसी यस्यास्ति हिदे संबिहित त्वम् निशिंगम हम भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे आपन्न संस्थितिम घोराम आपन्न संस्थितिम घोराम जन्याम विवशो ग्रनन तथो शब्द विमुच्चेत जद विभेति ही स्वयं भयम आपन्न संस्थितिम घोरम जन्याम विवशो ग्रनन तथो शब्द विमुच्चेत जद विभेति ही स्वयं भयम गोड़ियोगुष्टि पति गोड़ियोगुष्टि पति शिशिरा भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर प्रोपाद Paramahansa Jagat Guru told that Bhagavan Shri Krishna, His name, He is correct when while you are doing that, the Krishna Naam. To get, uh, we are getting the association of Shri Krishna automatically. Of course, we are actually talking about actual Hari Naam. I am not talking about Nama Parat. This is not at all Nama Parat. So Srila Prabhupada speaking that what is the actual result of Naam Prabhu? What is the actual result of Naam Bhajan? Gaudiya Goshti Pichhi Shishila Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada Paramahansa Jagat Guru told that, that while doing Harinam at the time of taking Harinam to get the association of Krishna, Krishna Nushilanam that to get the association of Krishna we are getting all the time and all our karamphal and enjoying mood, mukti, whatever uh, that uh, is, uh, will is there to get that, everything is just getting uh, vanquished automatically. It is all going away. The effect of Harinam is so much that uh, whatever there are uh, unearthed inside the jivas, it will gradual promote, gradual procedure, it will just get destroyed automatically. Everything is getting destroyed. And Shri Naam only is Swam Krishna. Only Swam Krishna. That Shri Hari Naam is Swam Krishna. Because by we can just get the darshan of Swarup of Krishna just by the Hari Naam. Taking Hari Naam. Everything Leela, Parikar, everything we can just see just by Krishna Naam. Shri Naam only Swam Krishna. Himself. He is not Swayam, but He is Swayam Rupi Krishna. We are actually very much having ill luck that we are not getting this kind of realization up till now. We have this kind of ill luck in order to get rid of this ill luck. There is no other way to get out of that. If someone is speaking that uh, how to just get out of this ill luck, is there any way to get out of this? That apart from Shri Nam Bhajan, no, no other way, pathway is open for us to get rid of this ill luck. Those who are getting Anand in Krishna Nam, the Anand we are getting in Krishna Nam, that is just uh, uprooting our material Anand and what kind of enjoying mood it is. Only Harinam can protect us from that. Nobody, no, nothing else is there who can protect. All from this material Nand. All the material things of this material world, it is actually all enjoyable by Krishna. And we are also enjoyed by Krishna. What uh, the thing, what I, in the Bangla Katha, I was just uh, talking. 
that uh, our when our anandamaya seva swarup is just getting manifested then bhagwan definitely will just uh, uh, give me that prema the whole material world of these jivas the material jivas don't know that who bhagwan will just uh, uh, who will just uh, take him whose uh, swarup swandarya of his uh, beautiful swarup of his atma is just getting manifested in front of his that bhagwan wants to always uh, give prema to him our roop madhuri means that the swarup sandarya of our atma krishna is feeling attraction to come and embrace me he just want to embrace me krishna always there to embrace that person now it is very much impossible to get but still it is possible if it is not there it is not done then uh, our mahajan sir have already told already have to shown us that pathway that the shlok which i have started with today that sutta goswami pad is speaking to sankadi rishi that at the time of death those who are even the fear is also fearing him that mahakal that mahakal is also fearing that name by by the name the fearfulness is always there of the that topmost harina pure naam this whole fearful condition of this material world which we are getting if someone is uh, doing uh, getting the surrender mood onto the lotus feet of shri naam all the time he is crying with the full sharnagati he will definitely get out of that bondage of material time also immediately he will just get uh, mukt out of that bondage he'll cut that bondage in bhagavad gita mahapurana also it is written if there is no calm material calm may be having some lot of material desires but no worries but still definitely you just need to call bhagwan at that time and if you have some moksha desire still still with the tibra bhakti by tibra bhakti yog you just need to do bhajan of bhagwan what will happen in this that if you have some material desire is there that will go out how there is nothing in this whole no one in this material world in this infinity brain material world who can just take my responsibility only krishna is taking my responsibility apart from krishna no one will take my full responsibility nobody has this kind of capacity to take nobody will take our responsibility except krishna that's why this is the actual promise of bhagwan that uh, that whatever is there of yours i will definitely protect that and what is not there i will that is my responsibility that's why bhagwan actually speaking uh, again and again etc exactly. but nobody has heard this in the gita at the last updesh also that is the actual updesh of gita maybe the other shlokas are there but if you just calculate then uh, the actual updesh last updesh yesterday a day after uh, day before yesterday i was just discussing and when the person is having jiva is having that false ego that doership is there inside him that doership bhav is there inside him that i am the doer i am doing that that kind of false ego is there then tranadavi sunichan is not possible and if that tranadavi bhav is not possible then to do hari bhajan is not at all possible for him tranadavi sunich means that is very much impossible to do bhajan after tranadavi sunichan only it is possible to do hari bhajan bhagwan already told this everything after just getting of when you will getting that anya balashi what do you mean by anukulya anukulya means 
that what is actually ruchi uh, we have ruchi for krishna lot of which are is there i already have told this point uh, in previous year also in bhakti rasamrit sindhu i was just talking about that now this fifth number shlok bhagwan that parat parakileshwar shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu shri gorang mahaprabhu for those lot of things have been told All things are been told by Shri Gorang Mahaprabhu. Is itself is Nam Prabhu. Bhagwan Shri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is himself Nam Prabhu. And that's why he has come to instruct us about Nam. That Prem he just want to give us to all. He is just always drowning in that. Like this, Thakur Ji is calling Mahaprabhu. Is actually calling Krishna like that. Maybe yesterday also I have just talked about this point. This shlok is there. Maybe someone can uh, this kind of uh, shlok of this shlok. He can speak that don't. It is just to destroy that de- demonic people. Sadhus are, but sadhus then don't want any kind of paritra. Sadhus don't have any kind of, uh, they don't have any kind of uh, report, negative report towards anyone. They are actually in order to just uh, rectify the present condition. If they are just be thinking of their own, it is not. They don't have any kind of uh, negative things, but they are all all the time. Uh, what sukhdev goes on speaking in hari katha this guy is actually dog he is actually dumb ass he is actually chagal so like this sukhdev goes on is speaking foul words he is sewer just by prema they are speaking they can't uh, stay like that that all these material jeevas actually whatever bhagwan this situation the conditions given by bhagwan the arrangement given by bhagwan whatever all these material jeevas all openly he is speaking everything in the form of shastra in the guru in the form of guru vishnu in the form of hari naam everything in the form of dham in the form of naam everything still all these material jeevas are not at fault having this kind of vichar towards that that's why sukhdev goes my path with very prem and with full uh, unhappy mood is just speaking this kind of foul words that he, they are just like dogs and cats just moving towards these things they this kind of uh, human body they are getting it is just need to spit on that what they are doing so much arrangement uh, bhagwan has given but still they are not at all ready but still they are not at ready that we will do bhajan so this is actually kalikal effect of al kalikal this kalikal is very dangerous seriously dangerous so this is so dangerous you see by that name jiska that top most should the prior name even that the person who is already in the fallen condition just it getting into that fallen condition he is become oh just in this condition is there and and he is speaking haram just in this condition while dying who is already on the verge of death who is just speaking the name immediately that person will just get delivered from his material bondage and that will he will get that uttam gati that person he will definitely get, cut his karm bandhan is and he will get that uttam bhakti definitely this situation at the lotus feet of achyut he has that situation and condition but still no one do wants to do the bhajan of bhagwan in this kalikal he, nobody wants to do this bhajan because all those uh, uh, 
demonic people demonic people they don't want to do bhajan at all so this is the situation of this whole material world you see the situation is totally opposite now on all four directions in this situation shri chaitanya mahaprabhu who is actually swayam bhagwan he is actually swayam naam prabhu himself shri chaitanya krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu that uh, bhagwan all the time so he just he is actually praying to bhagwan that oh thakur ji oh nanda tumhe you just be careful attentive on this point that according to gaudiya bhajan if not not i am speaking about narayan and uh, i am not talking about another krishna that is yashoda nandan 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 bhagwan mahaprabhu has told it a lot of time that when pandit all this uh, what balvacharya uh, ji has just uh, came in front of mahaprabhu when balvacharya ji he has just came in front of mahaprabhu and has just made his desire in front of mahaprabhu that prabhu you i have just given the glorification of harinam and if you can just hear it then that will be good then mahaprabhu knows that who, who that how he will just uh, think how he will uh, know the glorification of harina he has that false ego inside his heart he don't have tranadavi so bhagwan actually speaking no 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 actually i can't hear i don't know anything i am actually foolish i don't know the glorification of naam that much i only know that that ye shodanandan nandanandan krishna is the topmost that's it i don't want anything apart from that i don't have any kind of uh, meaning for the hari naam because i am not a pandit i am foolish so i don't have this kind of adhikar also so i know only this much that nandanandan yashoda yashodanandan krishna that's it apart from that i don't want anything don't want to know anything that is, is more than sufficient for me because how he will understand the glorification of harina they have he has actually false ego inside him he has so much ego inside him so when ego is there then it is not possible so just be careful on this point that gaudiya bhajan that uh, this is the uh, top most diamond like thing maybe you can just speak that it is just kind of one syllabus or some synopsis whatever you can speak you can speak what it is mahaprabhu just means this mahaprabhu also has uh, just uh, manifested this point mahaprabhu has also manifested this point in front of ballavacharya that uh, actually i don't know this much a lot of things i just only think that krishna name i don't have this much adhikar to get the meaning of uh, hari naam i know that shri nandanandan krishna is shodanandan krishna that's it mahaprabhu didn't told him then you just be careful that mahaprabhu hasn't spoken here that uh, shri krishna and uh, devaki krishna he must have spoken why because by that mahaprabhu actually has just in- given an indication that uh, our gaudiya bhajan what is the actual goal is to get nandanandan krishna and that gopi bhav we just need to get that and by this shri nath ji there is one devotee of whatever the there inside is the heart of mahaprabhu shri nath ji has just uh, given it in the form of writing in front of us So Bhagwan, this fifth shlok in this fifth shlok, Bhagwan is speaking that I am not speaking about any other name, only Nanda Nanda Krishna. I am 
चलिए जैसे और सर्वेंट किंग कर एंड इफ यू स्पीक ट्रूली महाप्रभु हैज जस्ट टोल्ड द एक्चुअल मीनिंग इन दिस इन द लास्ट श्लोक किंग कर एंड किंग करी ऑलरेडी हैज टोल्ड सर्वेंट ऑफ द सर्वेंट ऑफ सर्वेंट ऑफ ऑल द गोपी का सोल वॉट एवर इज देयर सो ओ नंद नंदन कृष्ण आई एम एक्चुअली यूर नित्य दास बट जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ दैट बिकॉज ऑफ माई करम फल आई एम एक्चुअली इन बिग प्रॉब्लम आई एम जस्ट गेटिंग इन दिस्ट्रेसफुलनेस ऑफ मटीरियल ओशन एंड यू जस्ट डू कीप ऑन मी सो दैट यू कैन आई कैन गेट योर लोटस फीट इफ आई कैन गेट दैट लोटस फीट दैट डस्ट पार्टिकल आई कैन गेट If uh, that uh, equal to the dust particle of a lotus feet, if you can think of me, you just protect me. Chinte, not chinte, vichinte. Especially, you just need to. He is actually just making one agra in front of Krishna Nam. That that craving prayer is there. towards uh, krishna that thakur you just please give me one dust particle you just think that one dust particle of a lotus feet and just protect me from this material or material distress lot of nice nice shlokas are there which we will be discussing that uh, what is our actual uh, pariche what is our actual swarup that in that case lot of devotees are actually have this kind of vichar has given this kind of vichar that that your lotus feet i am the servant of the servant of the servant of the servant of the lotus feet ma prabhu has told this point and a lot of other vaishnavas are also just uh, uh, giving this kind of uh, humble mood presenting a humble mood कवि करण पूर्व कुल शेखर शिवानंद सेन आई जस्ट मैनिफेस्टिंग आरथी दैट आई एम जस्ट टू गेटिंग इन दिस करंट फ्लो ऑफ दिस मटेरियल ओशन एंड आई एम सच अ फॉलन सोल आई एम नंबर वन फॉलन सोल एंड इफ विदाउट योर कृपा विदाउट योर देन दया आई जस्ट वांट टू सी दैट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ योर टॉप मोस्ट हम्बल मोड शिवानंद सेन स्पीकिंग दैट माई सिचुएशन इज जस्ट लाइक दैट that if of all the fallen conditions you are actually patit pavan that i am the topmost of all the fallen and you just need to make sure that you just get me out of this now uh, this fallen condition and you just uh, i just want to see the application of your patit pavan name what you have that uh, i just want to become a part of their of your and if you will just leave me then how will you prove that you are patit pavan So it's there. In your kirtan, it is written. Bhakti no Thakur is very beautiful kirtan. That it is just touching our heart. Definitely, I we will be speaking about under the. We are doing anugatya of Bhakti no Thakur. It is important to hear this kirtan also.
Rahasya, he has connected that with Unvajan Rahasya. Bhakti Nuta was speaking. So it is from Anadi Karampal. I am actually getting into the Bhayarana bhai and there is no other way I am just taking to just get out of this material world. And this world, this material world is just this material enjoyment in any form. It is just like halahal poison that that at the time of Sagar Manthal, that uh, that poison which is taken, that is called halahal poison. That uh, nobody has no poison is more uh, dangerous than halahal poison. That is the most dangerous halal poison. This poison has this Shankar Bhagwan is just taking according to the will of Krishna. He is just taking this uh, halal poison. After drinking this halal poison, at the time of drinking this halal poison, the two four drops just fell down on the ground. That we can find that all kind of all poisonous snakes and scorpions, Scorpios, everything just get uh, manifested. Now you can see the everything. Uh, that's why he become nilkant. Uh, all that halal poison he has just drank. But uh, that uh, whatever is just uh, from the hand, maybe two four drops just fell down on the ground. So this poison actually just when fell down on the ground, all those kind of poisonous snakes in this whole material world is there. You now you see everything. So that's why Mahaprabhu has just uh, told. That poison has just compared with that uh, halal poison, and the Divanish is just firing like fire. That is the actual truth. All the day, this Divanish is just burning whole day. I am not at all getting any uh, happiness in my heart. And uh, there are Anya Vilash, that, uh, that rope, that rope of Anya Vilash inside our heart. Anya Vilash means. That I always want to get into this material world, just get that bondage into this material world, and different kind of desires are anya vilas are there inside my head, and he is giving me lot of clash, and without any gapping, it is giving all the time distressful distress to me. And urmi means wave. It is just like a wave, just drowning me that in that current. That it is just like a wave, it is just coming on the top, it is just like a play going on. Like in the ocean you can see that there one wave is coming and then going, coming and going. It is just like that. There is no um, uh, end to this. And whatever calm growth, whatever six enemies are there inside me, whatever these six enemies are there inside me, they are actually, they are all uh, fraudsters, they are number one fraudster, they are just uh, giving me that fearful bhav inside me, they are fearing me all the time, and in my life, my la last time is coming of my life, O oh, Thakurji, Vela means, my life, last time of my life is just coming now in front of me and now I have to leave my body. So apart from devotee, just by leaving devotee, nobody will realize this point. Maybe Sri Ravindra Thakur, uh, Bhakti Thakur and Prabhupada, he has just get the association he has just to do the association. Maybe this is not actual association, but still he has understood something. He has definitely understood something out of that. That's why you can see in his song it is written. Oh flute, which in which hand I will just give you. Maybe he is externally he is a material poet, but still he has done some association. That's why that is not actual association, but still something has come inside, inside his mind. Otherwise, if we haven't done this kind of association, how he can write this? You are infinity in form of finite body. So all these kind of things which has come in his mind, definitely he must have realized something. Vaishnava association is not at all become any waste. As he Ravindra Thakur used to come in my Purva, near my Purna, Purva Ashram house. 
रसिंग मोहन विद्या मूव ही हैज डन द एसोसिएशन ऑफ हिम एंड अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम ही हैज जस्ट एसोसिएटेड विद द्रौपद एज वेल एंड विद द भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर फ्रॉम द वेरी बिगिनिंग ही ऑलवेज यूज टू हियर हरि कथा फ्रॉम भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर बट दैट कंप्लीट एसोसिएशन दैट कंप्लीट भक्ति से डेफिनेटली हैज अंडरस्टूड समथिंग ही इज एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दिस फ्लूट दिस इज जस्ट अ just this is i'll just speak two lines of this song this flute ho oh, in which hand i will just give tumare diye jabo kaha rahe hamara kuhalo ye jo kirtan hai this kirtan of ravindranath thakur is it's written there that of flute in which hand i will just give you i am very much uh, unhappy i am not getting that uh, cap- capable person what does it mean this he is a material poet but still he definitely must have understood that how it is possible he can write like this it means that uh, inside his heart just like a veena in order to there is one for in the veena there is one wire in that and we are just uh, pulling it like that music is coming out of that so he is speaking that that my the heart the guitar of my heart that veena up till this point actually thakur ji i am just uh, pulling it it that all kind of kirtan and whatever songs i have written everything i have written and to give one with rhythm in this society so the one with rhythm in this material society like there is one song is there with that there is mismatching other uh, that other mismatching music if it's there then that will be dangerous that bhagwan is also speaking like this that from this definitely must have taken from bhagwan only i think so He must have understood something that the bhagwan is speaking this that this is actually bhagwan speaking that i am just speaking one song and i am doing want you all to be harmonized with it ye hai secret that is the actual secret of bhajan path of bhajan just be careful about this it is not useless this is very in depth which are that bhagwan is actually singing a song whether he is just uh, holding a flute and uh, making a flute and bhagwan also wanted everyone should get with that rhythm and should harmonize with that rhythm what i am uh, just uh, speaking if we are actually going to uh, opposite way then that rhythm will break all the jivas bhagwan we just need to have harmonize the rhythm with bhagwan that is called actually rhythm all the jivas all the material jivas wherever we are in what situation everyone we have to harmonize that rhythm with bhagwan all guru vishnu bhagwan we just need to harmonize that just by getting that we will just our uh, whole material life will just be getting very beautifully but our rhythm is just getting broken our that rhythm is just getting broken our bhajan is getting waste useless that is the main reason we are not harmonizing with krishna it already being spoken in a form of song but this bhav is actually bhav of bhagwan bhagwan always all the time that all the jeevas just want to uh, all should come to me and just dance with me so this bhav actually up till this point from so much time i am just uh, uh, i am just uh, playing this uh, flute and so that same tune without changing that tune that same tune should with that same bhava the guru work always want this that same bhava should all the time you should play that that in my life there one disciple by the grip of krishna i can get that whatever inside bhav is inside whole bhav should get inside him and all the time that same rhythm should go on like madhavendra puri pad with the him that same to same matching that f- full rhythm ishwar puri pad has got that that ishwar puri pad always prabhupad used to speak that that to ke- we just have to match our rhythm with guru vaishnav all the time we have to harmonize with them that's why narottam das thakur has written in the kirtan mera guruji 
that my Gurudev, what has given me the bhav and is doing the service of uh, Bhagwan in Nitya Jagat, that kind of Nitya bhav, we, I just need to, I, he just need to give it to me, but I am not able to take that. I am foolish number one. I am number one foolish and I am less intelligent to get that, but that is the actual desire of Gurudev to just give. Maybe some disciple can be there that this full bhava inside my Acharan, Siddhant, whatever is there, all the time it is going on. So this thing definitely is a topmost, this, that is a topmost permanent uh, thing. So the Rabindranath Thakur actually speaking that there must be someone that this flute, that same rhythm I am, which I am uh, uh, without any change in that uh, modification in that tune, that same tune should go on. Each and every, this kind of which are of each and every Vaishnav is there that he should become eligible that he can just understand my heart 100% and he become a great sadhu and can do Harikatha Kirtan all the time and same Siddhanti he should speak but nobody is actually coming no one is coming to take that everyone is just getting uh, absorbed in their own work everyone don't want to give 100% maybe they can give 50% Okay, Gurudev, I'll give 50% to you. Okay, 60%. Of, why you are not giving full? Why you are not giving full? This is the actual vichar. So, he has just given, uh, put me in this material world. I have just fallen, get fallen into this material world. I have already told about Prabodhan and Saraswati. So whatever is there, Gyan, Karma, etc. are all actually fraudsters because they can anytime can kick me because they will not give me the actual uh, pure knowledge. They will go me. Your knowledge, your karma cannot give you respite. It is one kind of network of karm will be going on and this network is so dangerous that uh, it, if the network of this material world will get destroyed okay it's good but this network of karm will definitely go on sometimes our network is of satellite due to satellite from it is breaking but this network will go on if you want to don't want to break it it will go on it is non-stop it will not at all break it will not at all stop so Bhakti Nur Thakur has done very nice, nice kirtan on this. That's why Narottam Das Thakur Ji has told in his kirtan that Gyan, Karma, etc. when you are doing, you definitely will go to heaven and sometimes you will go to hell. That's why Narottam Das Thakur Ji has just strictly prohibited this point. Are, don't speak about any good deeds. Oh, what you will get by good deeds? Nothing you will get. I don't want these kind of good deeds, these bad deeds, good deeds, dharma, karma, I don't want all these. You just leave this. I don't have any connection with that. I only want that seva of Bhagwan. that's it. All the day I just need to do seva of Bhagwan, and with full anand, Krishna will become very happy. That is my actual uh, uh, desire. I actually, actually, all cheating me. Oh, you come here, come here. Like cheating, with cheating propensity is calling me. You come here, come here. In this material ocean, you just, I'm getting fallen into this condition. So in this way, in this manner, at that time, you are, a, oh Krishna, you, just to keep on me, so that with full your own power, you just uh, get out of this fallen condition, you just pick me up, and uh, you just uh, take this fallen soul, you just give the dust particle of a lotus feet, and Bhakti Thakur, this, doing this kind of prayer in front of Krishna, you give me shelter, 
I am actually Anitya Das. I am actually just getting forget about this point. So that's why so much distressful conditions I have just uh, faced in my life. So much of uh, distressfulness and unhappiness. How I am getting? I have just forgot my uh, uh, natural position that I am your Nitya Das. Just because I am forgetting this point, I am getting so much distressfulness in my life. And uh, I am just getting into this bonded condition. And where to go and what to do? You are my only support. You are my only support. You just need to get me out of this. And apart from you, nothing is there. This kind of realization we just need to get. This point we just need to realize that. By it's not like we will just be speaking. We have to realize this point. It is very important to get it into realization. So this situation, this condition, when it will come into our realization, we just need to do bhajan like that. Then it will definitely will become permanent. Like Vritrasur in the at the battlefield, or everything uh, is cutted. His eyes, his uh, legs, and uh, and his, all the time there is blood and blood everywhere. And he is actually speaking to Bhagwan. He is calling Bhagwan there. I am actually a Hari, a Bhagwan. I am just taking a lotus feet. Who are actually taking the ashray of your lotus feet? Those, those devotees who have just taken the shelter of your lotus feet. I am. We are actually. We will. Can we become the servant of the servant of the servant? Can we become that? Can it be there? Is there any possibility to become the servant of the servant of your uh, lotus feet? Can if it is there, then it's good. You tell me that. My heart is all the time is at your lotus feet. I just want that. That my heart should be there all the time. And you are my actually life and soul. And just to uh, remember your glorification and characteristic, that is my only desire. And all the time I should uh, just remember your glorifications. And uh, whatever you are speaking, and what is my speaking power, it should all the time do your uh, characteristics and glorification. And my body should always be there in your safe service. That is my actual desire. That is my actual desire. Bhakti Nur Thakurji has done uh, a kirtan regarding this. It is in Bengali that I was Chinnu. That is in Bengali it is written. Here we will speak in Hindi that this is my actual uh, identification. That uh, Maya Devi has just put one uh, rope inside on in my neck and I am just getting into this material sansar, material world and different kind of uh, distressfulness I am just facing. And now well, now I am just getting this remembrance, actual remembrance. I am this kind of desire now I have that I should become the servant of the servant of the servant. I should do that bhajan and I should get that if a drop of bhakti should come inside me, it should get inside my heart. Hey Praneshwar, your infinity characteristics, it should, my heart should all the time remember that and all the time I should, my material mind should remember your lotus feet. And I am all on that remembrance should always be there all the time inside my mind. And my tongue should all the time do your Harinam, Shuddha Nam. And this my body should serve you all the time, this body. 
ধরিয়া লড়ুক শর্ম and i at your lotus feet i am actually giving my whole life on your lotus feet so apart from this i don't have any kind of pathway open for me so like this vritra so speaking and in bhagwat ji papran there is one shloka this shlok with what mahaprabhu has told the shikshashtakam this shlok of mahaprabhu The, in, that is the applied form from Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran Bhakti Vinod Thakur has uh, just shown what actually in the tenth canto, twenty-ninth adhyay, that is the last adhyay of Ras Lila. What they are speaking? 
you are speaking actually as we ju- we just go to your house uh, you go to your house where we will go to our house no we have left everything for you what you want actually this is this kind of uh, you see this kind of smartness cleverness krishna showing you actually is speaking to why you have just came here krishna speaking you have just came from so far distant you have just came coming into the forest what you want from me so this is actually the cleverness of uh, bhagwan just want to test the prema what gopikas have for krishna but still that's why speaking that's why that what i should do for you should i do something for you goswami ji das so goswami das goswami also all those shar goswami is they are speaking a very very nice pad what bhakti mata kod has written because this shlok is very important on this on the on the on this kodiya uh, bhajan is actually sustaining on this shlok only what i would speak shelter of the lotus feet of radharani and thakur ji without taking their shelter without glorifying the lotus feet of radharani and and without taking the that dust particle on lotus feet of radharani without taking that shelter of that uh, dust particle of the lotus feet of radharani without taking the shelter of radha charan radha rani lotus feet we can't take the sh- without taking the shelter of vrindavan dham that that who are actually thinking yourself as a pran as your life and soul without thinking like uddhav ji uddhav ji actually the inner inner bhava of gopikas he, he didn't understand after that he understood oh this is the bhav actually so this actually this those were very serious uh, heart these gopikas and guru varga without understanding their heart that deep seriousness of their heart that is shamras sagar how you will get into the ocean of shamras shamras jo mahaprabhu ji then mahaprabhu has already spoken about shamras that to shila roop ko swami pad in at in lahabad at the bank of river ganga he speaking to roop ko swami pad that roop that krishna is actually uh, is the king of infinity ras is the krishna is the ocean of infinity ras i i just want to just give one drop of that uh, ras so that you can just taste that that krishna is actually is the ocean of infinity ras i just want to give you one drop of that so i just um, make sure and, and made an effort to just give you one drop of ras and this kind of bhav das ko swami has that this inside him that mahaprabhu bhav audacity you have you have so much audacity that you are actually without doing the bhajan of radharani and without taking shelter of vrindavan dham and you are just without taking the shelter of their lotus feet this kind of serious that without the taking the shelter of those gopikas without understanding the heart of those gopikas how you can 
you have so much audacity that you want to get into that ocean of uh, sham ras you just want to get part into that ras of sham you have this so much audacity you are you getting into that to take bath in that sham ras so this kuswami bath actually is just to speaking serious and uh, in depth bhav uh, of gopikas what uddhav ji has uh, haven't understood before but after that he got understood that point gopikas bhav bhakto shyam sundar rose shyam sundar that you just want to get into that uh, ocean of uh, sham ras how you can just take bath in that is it possible no it is not possible at all like that in vilap ko sammanjali das ko swami pad has just given different kind of vichar oh you can't even imagine very deep uh, in depth discussion and he has given that bhav in vilap ko sammanjali shila prabhupa ji is actually speaking to one go swami maharaj at the last time when one go swami maharaj when shila bhakti hirde one day was i'm just coming in a very silent mood into prabhupad that i am getting attraction towards this uh, gopika bhav you just actually just protect me prabhupad speaking you do one thing now you you this will aap ko sub manjali etc you sarniyam sarniyam dadashikam etc you just uh, go on reading and after that you come to me so each and every f to everyone prabhupad is not giving this permission prabhupad is not at all giving permission to everyone you just you do this kind of uh, reading but in return he just become so much angry by just hearing this that's why param puja pa shri shri sridhar ko swami maharaj used to speak about jhulan that we actually don't do jhulan by because others can do okay they can do but we are not doing any arrangement of jhulan why because we don't have this kind of adhikar we don't have the eligibility to do and our gurudev also this bhav bhakti sidan saraswati goswami thakur we according to that bhavna according to their bhav only i just need to go we they haven't told me uh, about this thing they haven't indicated me about this that you just need to do like this so that's why we are not doing lot of matha doing but we will because we don't have this kind of adhikar to do jhulan param puja ba shridhar goswami maharaj used to speak this so this vilap kusum manjali whatever is not there everything is there that jeev goswami pad what he has written this book is there in that book also shila jeev goswami pad with full humble mood is just writing sankalpa sankalpa drum in that jeev goswami pad has written as uh, according to his own swarup he is is just uh, speaking on to lotus feet of radha rani he is just praying to the lotus feet of radha rani shri sankalpa drum this book so this uh, ragunath das ko swami pad uh, shri vilap ko sammanjali is that 28 that eighth number shlok is there their top most separation mav that top most separation mood is there 
there is actually virah separation mood stressfulness in my in the in this ocean of material misery and only your lotus feet it means your lotus feet is just like a boat just by seeing that you just you just uh, take me to your lotus feet that's it we are the we are the your you are i just want to go there i don't have any other pathway apart from that so in this way bhakti no thakur is just writing in kirtan bhakti no thakur has written in his bhasha bhakti no thakur has written that i am durgat i am fallen most fallen i am just one fallen jeeva just like a boat that kripa boat i am just taking the shelter of your lotus feet you just give me one place at your lotus feet bhakti no thakur is just writing so much things and no one actually wants to hear can understand this point what bhakti no thakur told and prabodhana saraswati pad also has written but we don't have this kind of adhikar to speak if i can speak i'll just be speaking two words radha pad dasham eva parama vishtam hrida dharyan karhi sham tadanu gruhino paramad bhutanu ragotsava nirantar krishna dhyan krishna kirtan krishna pad padma seva भाव is just manifested in every shloka of shri chaitanya chitamrit when which bhav mahaprabhu has manifested at that time what is the actual situation at that time that it is there in shri chaitanya chitamrit already manifested there all actually secret treasures all are preserved by krishna skavraj goswami and all our guru work on no, no, all good according to work i preserve that in chaitanya jita amrit it is written puna puna mage dasho bhakti da puna puna bhagwan puna puna again and again that with full humble hood prabhu ji maa prabhu is just asking that dasya bhakti that he is actually thinking soch raha hai is thinking himself that i am actually a material material jeeva this kind of false ego is there prabhu is actually thinking himself that i am a material jeeva with this mood he is actually praying on to lotus feet of krishna i am actually a nitya das and 
आई एम जस्ट फॉर गेटिंग यू आई एम जस्ट फॉर गेट यू एंड आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग शेल्टर ऑफ दिस मटीरियल माया आई हैव जस्ट फॉर वॉट यू एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट आई एम जस्ट गेटिंग इन टू दिस मटीरियल डिस्ट्रेसफुल ओशन ऑफ माया I am just getting into this fallen condition of Maya. So you do creep on me. You just make me one dust particle of a lotus feet. Then Bhajan Rasen also Mahaprabhu has just manifested this point. There it is written. Mahaprabhu actually speaking that Sevi Vastu is Nanda Nanda Bhagwan Sri Krishna, and that kind of bhava of nitya dasta of a jiva. Just regarding this, this kind of distressful condition that Jiva is getting into this fallen condition all the time of this material distressfulness of Maya, and only your lotus feet is only the actual support. And Bhagwat Kripa, just by Bhagwat Kripa is actually coming from Guru Vishnu only. And if we, if we, that please Krishna should do Kripa so that I can get out of this fallen condition. Otherwise, it is very difficult to go out of this fallen condition. So it is like this only. So, Prabhupad also especially has just spoken this point and focused on this point that after nirth nivriti only, what I have already spoken in Bangla katha about this point before two hours before I have just discussed after nirth nivriti, after nirth nivriti, before. Nishta, you will be there, and after Nishta, that Asakti you will get, and in Asakti, that all the time, that uninterrupted bhajan can be possible. That after Anartha Nivriti, all that all the time gradually, that Adao Guru Padasre. Rupa Goswami Bhaj has already told this point. And uh, in the other shlok also it is written. After that nishta is there. So after anarth nivriti, their nishta will you will get uh, sprouted. And after that, Prabhupada has spoken this. After that, definitely that nishta, ruchi, and then ruchi will be produced. And after that, your asakti will be there, and after asakti will be slowly, steadily, you will be moving ahead. And after bhav, you will get prem. So lot of things are there. So Prabhupada speaking. That anarth nivriti. After that, the actual uh, the continuousness, spontaneous continuousness of bhajan. At that time, at that time, the jiva who is getting that rati inside his heart. At that time, Prabhupada speaking that the actual swarup of jivas. Prabhupada speaking the actual swarup of uh, jivas. Before that, what they have that up till that point when they will not be getting swarup siddhi. Before that, an earth is there. At that time, that paramarth bhajan, that topmost softness will not come inside your heart. It will not take place when samband gyan becomes fixed. When he is become fixed in samband gyan, that with the nam prem sankirtan, he becomes uh, eligible to do nam sankirtan with prem. He is actually spoken. Prabhupada also speaking this point. That when in that when samband gyan is fixed. You will get the actual capability of doing a prem Krishna naam with prema. You can do Krishna naam at that time. Jiva, that at that time jivas get rati inside their heart. It is written, and yet ajato rati that sadhak in those sadhak that rati as rati hasn't got manifested up till now. And jato rati means. 
Pajaturati, who hasn't got Rati up till now, who, who is doing that Sankirtan without Rati, and those who are with full Rati and as having that bhav inside their heart, and they are doing Nam Sankirtan with full Rati, there is actually a difference between both of them. Those who are with Kapat Bhav, they are doing uh, Nam Sankirtan with the full Kapat Bhav inside their heart. If that Rati, before getting that Rati, if he has that uh, Kapat Bhav and he just want to get that uh, La Puja Pratishta in this uh, drama he is doing in front of this Bhajan field with full Kapat Bhav, we are having in our whatever time we have that Chaturati, if we want to get that before that, we are just doing any kind of drama and we are with some Kapat Bhav, we are actually inside our heart at that time, we are just doing some kind of clever or uh, cleverness, we want to show some smartness, material smartness and that we are showing that Chaturati, that symptom of Chaturati, we just want to show in front of others, that is not at all good, that Kapat Bhav is not at all good, that's why Prabhupada speaking that after anartha nivriti that uh, continuous and spontaneous spontaneousness uh, of the bhajan we can see that is automatically will come and after that and after that that sarasiki now you understand this point so this is the thing actually so today we have just uh, uh, spoken up till this point today, this fifth shlok, Mahaprabhu has uh, just uh, bhav, the bhav of Mahaprabhu has just manifested in front of us, we have just discussed it. We have just discussed this and after that the six number shloka, the six number shloka is very very uh, serious shloka. In this shloka we just will be putting some light under the guidance of Prabhupada and Bhaktivinoda Thakur and in the Amrit Prabhavasya Bhaktivinoda Thakur has just done this written in that. When uh, I will be getting this kind of situation, no oh, Prabhu Thakurji, that your eyes, that at the time of taking your Harinam, from my eyes, all the time, tears will be flowing continuously of Prema. I have already told this before also, when at the time of taking Harinam, Nothing, no vikar is getting, no tears are coming in our eyes. It means that definitely there is anarth inside our heart. It means that anarth still is there inside our heart. Inside our heart is there. Still anarth is there. So this is the actual uh, praman. Anarth definitely is there inside our heart. And anarth when it will go away, then this kind of condition will not be there. So Prabhu... At the lotus feet of Krishna, Mahaprabhu speaking, E Nath, when this kind of situation will come in my life, that all the time at the time of taking your Naam, from my eyes, this kind of spontaneous tears will flow all the time of Prema from my eyes, continuously. When this situation will come in my life. So that's why, our, it is written, all our Goswami, Rup Goswami Bhad has written uh, like this. And Krishna Skamar Kaviraj Goswami also has written this. And Vrindamanda Thakur also has written about Nityananda and Gaurang Mahaprabhu. Lot of things they have written. And this also has written. This is already written. So, 
for their own for the only what is they are actually just showing the mudra of bhajan how to do bhajan in which situation you have to do you the bhajan so all these uh, things in order to teach us mahaprabhu has just shown this kind of instruction in front of us mahaprabhu has just practically shown us in this form that in which situation what bhajan is possible automatically we can see that that's why bhagwan swayam bhagwan himself he is shri krishna ji and mahaprabhu is just praying on to lotus feet of krishna when i will be getting that ruchi in harinam all he is actually just came just to teach us how to do bhajan he just want to what is actually vairagya want to teach us what is actually vairagya what it is that what is what is your nij bhakti yoga means that uh, what that automatically that bhakti yoga how it is possible to do just want to show us nij bhakti yoga that that majan mudra that is a very serious uh, point in order to teach us mahaprabhu has just came himself to teach us has practically shown this point that is in order to instruct us to do actual bhajan and our guru var shridhar goswami pad etc have just written prayojan avatari gorang mahaprabhu that gorang mahaprabhu vishesh bhajan prayojan avatar he just we have just descend on this material world to just teach us that's why bhagwan himself is just praying to krishna that when my my throat my vocal cords that they actually was speaking about kulshekhar king kulshekhar kishnyo kishno tado pad pad pankaj panjarante adaiva maname vishatu manasara jangsho pran prayan samaye kopa ba that bhajan has not been done up till now when i will do my your bhajan prabhu my my death has come in bhagavatam it is written in the seventh canto the jivatma is going away when he is just leaving his body he is going away by leaving his body and his vocal cords are just and this situation has just been produce that he don't have the uh, voice to speak and he can't even see and he can't even speak and he can't even hear and this condition has been produced and he is just there to leave his body and his vocal cords he don't have this kind of uh, patience to speak also his vocal cords are just uh, stopped and he can't even speak also now that no kind of word is coming out of the mouth sometimes mahaprabhu always used to don't have this kind of will to speak this name jagannath and the situation of mahaprabhu just like that he can't even speak jagannath he speaking jag 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 like this it is written there he could like this situation is arise that he don't have this kind of capacity to speak jagannath sometimes you see the situation in this situation a man will be get into this situation definitely will get nandan nandan krishna then when we will be thinking this point that will be good in which situation in which condition we will get nandan nandan krishna mahaprabhu has practically shown us and practically shown this point in front of us mahaprabhu speaking when that condition will come in my life at that time the my throat will be just uh, becoming stopped and all the times tears will be there in my eyes and there will be my all hair follicle will stand up at the time of taking your harinam that all the time that kampan will be there because to to meet with you and to just do your harinam is all the same it to do your harinam means that is you only himself that's why this kind of reaction is coming those who have in their harinam there is gapping of maya that is actually not harinam that is 
that is not at all actual arena jagdanand pandit ji has just written this point bhakti no thakur ji has written in the kirtan Bhakti Nath Thakur has written in this kirtan in Bhajan Rasya also as Bhakti Nath Thakur given this point. Those who are just going into that situation, they all the time are just getting anushilan of or guru vishnu. But Keshav Goswami Maharaj always used to speak that we don't have this kind of adhikar to just get into this. It is more practical to do kirtan because they will not understand this point. They how what they will do by doing yam kirtan? They will not at all understand. Just hear Hari Katha. Slowly, steadily, they we will get into that situation, that condition. After that, we will see. Bhakti Mata Thakur speaking. Just because of aparad, my heart. is just like a vajra like a thunderbolt it has become and i don't have any kind of uh, no kind of transformation for your hari naam just by speaking your naam the transformation should come but that is not at all coming that's why just be i have just left my own efforts now and i'm just taking your shelter atash means my heart has just broken now it will not be happening that's why i'm just taken your hari naam with full mood loud voice i'm just speaking your hari naam and i'm feeling having a very distressful condition i'm just speaking in front of you i nothing is happening at all after that the very beautiful bhav of kirtan is coming source of merciful mercy so you just give me some one drop of bhakti just to give me this kind of adhikar to just so that i can live my life with krishna bhakti when just by speaking your hari naam in my in, in my eyes all continuous tears will flow from my eyes and my vocal cords will become just uh, to get trans to top most blissfulness and my tongue will be just speaking uh, that uh, stammering voice when that bhav will come and all my hair follicles will just stand up just by taking your name all those each and every hair will stand up just by taking your name when that condition will come just by taking your hari naam everything this its its ashta satvik vikar will come these are all the symptoms all actually just standing of hair etc it is not this is very serious which are that all kind of uh, hair follicle will stand up and sweat will come and i don't have the condition to even uh, uh, move also that is actually the ashta satvik vikar these are just eight symptoms of prem vikar this will come inside my body and my body will become becoming like lifeless and kyan uh, will become fall will become unconscious and uh, i will be just taking your hari naam this is my actual desire to get this and uh, this is my actual desire and uh, rest is your rest is your desire Prabhupada ji at the bank of Radha Kund at Kunj Bihari at that time, when actually Parikrama was going on there, at that time, 
Prabhupad at that bank of his Radha Kund, he always used to study. At that when they are just speaking about Radha Rani, at that time automatically that body just got shivered. And like this, Ast Sattvi Vikar just came inside Prabhupad and Prabhupad very carefully just uh, uh, maintaining him at that point. Why? Because this is the actual thing. This kind of bhava, we just need to get it in a hidden form. This kind of bhava, we just don't need to manifest in front of this material world. That bhava will definitely go away if we will just manifest in front of material persons. That is the actual bhava what Mahaprabhu has shown. This point in front of us, it is already written in Chaitanya Chaitamrit. I will definitely show you. You just come. I will show you that bhav. Whosoever a material person, if he will be seeing, Mahaprabhu is just hiding his actual bhav. He is just hide his bhav. That is the actual rule. Those who are Raganuga, Rupanuga, Bhag, they don't preach. This is not the point of preaching. <laughs> they are actually crying, they are speaking, they are with nothing has happened in my life. They are just crying in opposite. So this is the thing. So Prabhupada, in the life of Prabhupada also it is it has happened. Prabhupada always used to hide his bhav. But still sometimes it just gets manifested in Radha Kund. Prabhupada just started shaking and lot of uh, sweat is coming on his body. Prabhupada uh, just uh, maintained his self at that time. So Vivarna Sharir, when uh, Vivarna means that your one is getting opposite. Vyavarna. That what is the actual thing of your varna, it is becoming opposite. That is the actual symptom of the eight kind of sadvi Vikar. All these. All these actually Vivarna Sharir, actually all these are symptoms of eight eight kinds of symptoms of Prem, each and every symptom of uh, Ashtasatvik Vikar. And those who have taken the Ashray of Nam. So in this situation, this condition, only Harinam can save us. That Gopikas are just acting at the verge of death. They are just they are just already died. They are lifeless, but still they are living. How? For what? So that at your lotus feet, they are actually giving their life at your lotus feet. That is the actual reason why they are actually living. This shlok is there. And Gopika is actually speaking that today also we are actually living our life, there is life in life in our body. It is Ashub means our life actually is at your lotus feet. Our life is at your lotus feet. That's why we are just becoming lifeless but still we are living. So this is the condition. So we are li- lifeless but still we are living because Krishna is our life. That's why Nam is the Samashray. Radha Rani, the Bhava of Radha Rani, we haven't seen that. But the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is actually just uh, speaking, uh, just by the lotus feet of Guru Vaishnava, we are uh, hearing this. When that condition is coming, then the Nam Ashray, when Mahaprabhu is just becoming unconscious, at that time all the devotees with full loud voice, they used to do Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, this Nam Sankirtan, they used to do all the time. At that time, slowly, steadily, Mahaprabhu just came back to his consciousness. So this is the condition. Bhakti Nava Thakur has written this. And in our life, uh, this kind of uh, luck will be there. Gurudev, that I can get this. Bhakti Nava Thakur is just writing this desire. Bhakti Nava Thakur, with this desire, in order to fulfill this this kind of desire, Bhakti Nava Thakur is just crying. And just crying full of tears, this kind of situation can come in my life. 
that if Krishna can do keep on wind, then definitely it will come in one of his crying. Bhakti Mahatma Thakur is crying like this. And today we will be just giving rest up till this point because we have very less time and other seva is also there. That's why I will be just resting it today. You just forgive me. Aapanya sansidim ghoram janyama vivasoganam tato shabta vimachet jad vibet svayam bhayam वांछकल्पतरुष्ट के पास सिंधु विवश पतितानंग पावने भोगेश्वर भ्योनम